Well, the Olathe East community continues to recover this noon after the shooting at the school last week. Fox 4's Carrie Stoll is live in Olathe with how the district plans to move forward now. Carrie? Yeah, that's right, Kim. So we are standing outside Olathe's Education Center where the district's leader is speaking out for the first time about last Friday's shooting. Superintendent Dr. Brent Yeager says that he was in a meeting with some other school leaders when the shooting happened. They immediately jumped into action and have been busy supporting the district's community since. The suspect, 18-year-old Jalen Elmore, has been charged with attempted capital murder for bringing a gun to school and shooting the assistant principal and school resource officer in the school's office area. Both men were released from the hospital on Friday, but Elmore is still in the hospital recovering from his injuries. Dr. Yeager says that he is grateful for police and some other first responders, especially the school's SRO, Eric Clark. I suspect over the next few weeks we'll learn more about his specific actions and those kinds of things, but um, I'm beyond grateful that he was there that day and that um, we've had that partnership with our, our local police department, the Olathe um, Police Department, for years and years. Um, had an SRO not been there that day, we could have been in a very different situation. And the shooting is still under investigation. When police are finished, the district will start its own investigation. Uh, they're trying to figure out as much as they can and learn as much as they can about the procedures that they already have in place to see what worked and maybe what needs to change in situations like this. Now, there are five high schools in the Olathe district. Uh, as of now, no metal detectors at any of them. A bond, though, was passed a couple of weeks ago. So, of course, some of that money could go to upping some of the security at these schools. But at this point, it's really just just to wait and see. Kim? All right. Carrie's still live. Thank you.